If you caught the new CPI numbers this week, they're painting a grim picture of higher than expected inflation that's remaining very stubborn in this economy despite the Fed's best efforts to bring it down to 2%. And now the stock market immediately dropped on that news and hopes for interest rate cuts happening soon have been all but dashed. Retirement savers are now facing a harsh reality of permanent inflation and a no landing scenario. Overall inflation and core inflation have both remained well above the Fed's 2% target and not even taking into account important numbers such as food and energy, headline inflation rose 3.5% from a year ago, and that's up considerably from February's 3.2%. And core price inflation came in at 3.8%. Now service prices were actually up 5.4% from last year. And in an effort to get a better picture on the economy, economists have started calculating the new super core measurement. This new computation takes core services and subtracts housing, and that number surged 7.2%. And to make matters worse, gasoline prices are actually beginning to rise again, with OPEC extending their supply cuts and the growing conflict in the Middle East. Now, over the last few months, investors had high hopes for imminent rate cuts this summer. The Fed had actually signaled the possibility of cutting rates three times this year, and that optimism fueled a stock market frenzy. But with the release of the latest inflation report, that surge has been brought to an abrupt halt. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell more than 500 points, and the NASDAQ and S&P 500 also dropped, and tech stocks including Microsoft, Amazon, and Apple were hit very hard. Investors now hoping for rate cuts in September, though there's still the possibility that the Fed won't cut rates at all this year, further stagnating the economy. And worth noting is that the stock market historically drops when interest rates are kept higher for longer. This is because it costs more for companies to borrow money and company growth is stalled out. Now, continuing inflation is placing severe pressure on most US households. Prices have increased on everyday necessities, and in the past few years, the cumulative consumer price index has actually increased over 18.5%. And that inflation is destroying Americans' retirement savings. The damage goes well beyond falling portfolio values and stock volatility. It's eating up the purchasing power at unsustainable rates. And in this environment, gold and silver are proving to be true inflation hedges and a great way to maintain that purchasing power. If you're concerned about this economy, if you're looking for a way to shore up your savings or your portfolio, I'm Makai Block with American Hartford Gold. Give us a call today and we'll discuss how adding physical precious metals into your investments can give you the hedge that you need. Discover how gold can help you protect yourself and your family. Call today or visit our website for more information at AmericanHartfordGold.com.